What happens when you overstack your storages on defense? Let's test it out with over 100 million for the new world's biggest loot raid. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. Previously, I fully maxed my base. All builders available. What this means is I cannot spend my loot. Looking at my season bank, 13 million gold, 14 million elixir, zero dark elixir. That is because your season bank only fills up from the loot you actually gain from an attack. Because my dark elixir storage is overflowing, I'm not actually filling the season bank. However, when I did the world's biggest loot raid video, there was multiple comments. What happens if your storages are overstacked? So the first thing we need to do is actually fill up that season bank, fill up my storages with multiple farming attacks. I got to work and over the next couple of days, I used this as time to practice some war attacks. That's something I'd always try and integrate into your farming if you can. For me, it was the queen charge and some attacks I haven't used in a long time. That is the first queen charge, Lalo, I have performed since Town Hall 12. I would say that was pretty successful, particularly due to the amount of loot we are going to gain in this attack. I think I've lost more resources than I've gained at this stage, but we still have a couple of days until the season ends. A couple of million more loot, but that's not too much of a big deal. In order to fill the treasury to the maximum, one of the best ways is via war attacks. And I have one right now against a tricky ring style base that I figured I would show to you in filling up that treasury. First of all, I want to lightning the Archer Queen scatter shot and inferno because i'm going to queen charge this area so as she moves up there we go she is down we can also take out the scatter shot with the earthquake and now we can bust my archer queen in so let's begin uh why don't we go with a baby dragon here actually let's rage the queen rage the queen rage the queen Woo! i'm just waiting to see basically which direction my archer queen goes i don't want to uh let's get the headhunter in and it does look like she's now going to come to the left yes queen is not going to peel off into the other direction so let's allow everything in let's get the hybrid now moving on in to the base with the grand warden and the royal champion now the trick here is to send the battle blimp over the top of the hybrid and use the grand warden to protect everything so there we go protecting everything this is where i actually wanted to use my rage spell to assure we got this town hall so let's just double check that that is going to go down is it that is the problem right now let's use an archer up top there we've got a couple of balloons going up we can use a heal as necessary come on town hall let's use the rc ability oh that's where that down it goes that's where we really needed that rage spell let's save on to this heal because we don't have a lot of splash in this area let's use the king on the outside try and force the miners back in but we should be able to use a heal now because I want to protect a lot of these miners. Yes, there is a bomb tower and wizard tower on the back end, but I'm hoping my queen can power through that. We've got nothing on the outside, have we? No. Come on, let's do this. Despite having to use that rage when I didn't want to, miners get the... Oh, no, they missed it. No, queen ability. Let's try and protect that health because the health wasn't going to go back up too much. We should be okay here as long as... Oh, the miners went down. Are you kidding me? Oh, 96%. <laughs> Oh, that is how it happens sometimes, but at least we will now have the loot to fill the treasury. Bit of an obscure farming army, I know, mass pekka, but there is currently an event going on. So alongside getting the bonuses, the benefit of the events is the troop in question is cheaper. So the pekka, we can cook up cheaper than it would be for a miner. Pretty much half the price of a baby dragon. So whilst it's not a typical farming army, we can search for bases where the loot is on the outside and use the pecker to pick off the collectors, much like we would do with mass goblins. I guess this base works. We can just use one or two pecker on the outside of the base, like so. We don't actually need to use all of them either. And I did bring a couple of jump spells just in case we could actually jump the pecker into the base. Look at that. There is one elixir left. One elixir. <laughs> 
Where on earth is that? There we go. Let's get out of there. Protect the hero's help. Let's retrain via the quick train menu. You should always do that. So you're always training exactly what you used. Might as well request some clan castle troops and get back out there to find another base. Weirdly, this farming attack was super fun. I don't know if it was just the novelty factor, but I was able to fill my season bank pretty quickly. If you do enjoy my videos, by the way, I would recommend subscribing. We are trying to push that subscriber percentage because not a huge proportion of my viewers are actually subscribed. And there we go, the perfect for that one. A little bit of a shaky attack, but I just threw everything in to try and get the three stars because I think right now we are good to go. Let's take a look at this. Within the season pass, I managed to get the Dark Elixir over 100,000. Let's get that queen skin. I think a lot of these things we will be selling for gems. I'll do that off camera, but 1.5 million gold. Two gems for the extra. What a ripoff. But there we go. We have the gold filled. And what it now means is we can go into the clan games. I can't collect a lot of the rewards, but what is important, let's get the gems, shovel of obstacles, gems. This one I can't get anything, but I think it will convert to gems. I guess we'll have to have 10 gems for that one. Let's translate this one out of curiosity. Oh, that one only gives you 20 gems. What? Why would I take 20 gems when I could get 50 for that? Weird. Let's take the Rune of Elixir. Thank you very much, Clan Games. And if we use that Rune of Elixir, because again, I fully maxed, really not too fussed, I will get another Rune of Elixir in next month's Gold Pass. And I might as well use my Rune of Dark Elixir as well. There's already one in here. I would only get 50 gems. Five gems for 1.5 million Elixir. Ouch. However, we now have these storages full. When the clan war is finished, war win bonus, two million gold and Elixir. That will mean our treasury is completely full. We need a shield. So I think we should purchase the one weak shield just to be safe. Here we go, the 1st of February. The season has reset, so let's open up Clash of Clans and see how much loot we have. There are some offers in the shop for the Lunar New Year as well, which we will be purchasing. There it is. Season challenges are here. The Grand Warden skin. You can see the gold in the top right already at 45 million. There we have it. Now in the shop, we can actually purchase the Tiger Mountain scenery to give us a little bit extra gold. I might as well buy the two packs that give me a little bit extra resources. So let's press the C in the top right, enter code JUDO. That is a way you can support me here on the channel by entering my code before purchases. And let's get all of these that have loot involved. The Tiger Mountain scenery. Let's actually select and use that. And the total amount with all of those is 53 and a half million gold. Nearly 50 million elixir and nearly half a million dark elixir. It's actually a lot more than that because again, as I explained, we have the loot in the treasury as well as every single mine collector and drill completely full at this stage. We do not have a league right now. I am in the Masters League region, and this is because of the video that is coming up where I drop to the Bronze League to go on revenge. Be sure to subscribe in order to see that one. It is super fun, but we now need to remove our shield and also remove the village guard so we have nothing protecting us. Now we log off and wait five minutes until we get attacked. Okay, so sometimes Clash has this weird glitch thing. We have been waiting for 15 minutes. To my knowledge, you can correct me if I'm wrong, the game should put you into matchmaking after five minutes of you being offline and not having a shield. Oh, what I have to do to give away millions of loot 45 minutes we've now been recording. What is going on, Clash of Clans? I'm not going to lie, I couldn't really do anything here because I didn't want to miss the notification. Yeah, I'd be bored if I was you too. <sighs> One hour and 10 minutes. I have notifications on my iPad and on my phone. Nothing has popped up. I'm starting to doubt it. 
They always pop up though, and I double checked once we had dropped the shield and the guard. One hour and 25 minutes. I honestly do not believe this. Does it give you more grace period the more loot you have? I have never had to wait this long. I have a meeting to go to in five minutes. So if we do not get attacked in the next minute, I'm going to have to buy another shield so that I can record this tomorrow. It's not the same without a live defense and we know that other player is attacking right then and there. All right, well, that's as long as I can leave it. I am honestly going to have to go. So let's log in. There's no way we didn't get the notification, right? No shield. All of my loot. What just happened? One hour and 27 minutes. That's how long I've been recording this video or this clip of this video. Oh my goodness. Clash of Clans, I want my 100 gems back. <sighs> let's try this tomorrow. Okay, round two. Let's drop the shield and let's drop the guard. Let's remove the gem box just because I can. It took our elixir down a little bit, but my gold is going to go down a little bit because I think let's maybe try and find a match, but let's drop our queen and maybe just giving ourselves a badge so you can see now we're in the Masters League. Honestly, I don't think this does anything, but maybe it kicks us into the matchmaking perhaps i will try anything at this stage but let's force close the app this is going to be the world's biggest loot raid hopefully in five minutes yep you guessed it more than five minutes i time lapsed the entire thing but my editing software only lets you go up to 10,000 the speed so i had to render this clip out and speed it up a second time Oh my word, there we go. We are finally being raided after two and a half hours. For you, I wanted the live attack and we had over two million. It's the Super Dragons. How much will they get? In the Masters League, it's not quite the same as up in Titan. I will link you across to the previous world's biggest loot raid. We can compare the difference and I will give you clarification after this attack. But what he should do is just go for the mines and pumps because you get 50% out of those 75 out of the drills trying to get that dragon there's a de storage right there eight thousand dark elixir using the super dragon for the gold storage there's more gold in the collectors up here come on what are you doing he got the elixir collector okay still got over one million in gold and elixir we've got a super dragon at the top is he going for the town hall town hall is activated will he even get the victory he's got the battle blimp He's got the Queen and Warden, so he should be able to get that Town Hall relatively easily. Freezing the Eagle, quite a smart play, I would think, in order to protect that Super Dragon. But just being very slow and cautious. This is what we wanted. And we know that MD is attacking right now. Why I sat for two hours. Oh my word, Clash of Clans, so that we could witness this together. Now, why did he send the warden in like that? Oh my we got the queen on the left, the warden sniping that. Is he actually going to quit and not get a star? He took the gold mine. Come on, the Dark Elixir storage is right there. What are you doing? Freezing the eagle again. Oh, this is comical. We've got the RC. Is he going to use that for the town hall? We've got Rages, yes, RC for the town hall. Will probably get the two star, freezes the town hall, so the royal champion will get it. That's going to be a decent amount of loot. And we can double check the amount after the attack is finished because he'd already started getting some when we started the attack or started watching the replay. What is in the battle blimp? He saved the Dark Elixir storage until last. Whatever is in there, it has to be something. No, he's quick. He left the DE storage. <laughs> well, thank you, MD, I guess. But let's take a look at this. Defense. 
replay. Two million. And it is exactly the same as last time because you have a percentage loss from your treasury. I already said the gold mines and elixir pumps, but then the storages and the town hall counts as a storage is capped depending on your level. And I have a little bit of information on your screen, but gosh, I hope that was worth it so that we could crack that myth for you. If you do want to see last time we tested the world's biggest loot raid and what the attacker did, it is linked on your screen with the subscribe button. You guys take care and I will see you in the next video.